Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it's so lovely to see you today. In this video we are heading out together to go and visit the National Arboretum, so grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. So today we are heading off because it is November and I really thought it was important to visit somewhere to show our respect to our fallen veterans and so I really wanted to visit the Arboretum and go and pay our respects to those that we've lost over the years. Don't forget my husband will be doing a video as well so that's really exciting so if you want to know about the history of the Arboretum we might be doing like other things on his channel there. Um, I'm not sure quite what he's got in mind but I know he's got a lot of plans for that video so definitely head down below either a link to that video or just to his channel in general down below. Uh, go and give him some love because he's really hoping to grow that channel. He loves making his videos on there. But yeah I'm just really looking forward to visiting this place and pay my respects you know I do not agree with war I don't understand why we as a world now we have so much access we can travel in so many places and yet we're still having war we still have these cultural clashes these religious clashes that turn into war and I don't as my brain can't wrap its head around it. It doesn't mean that I don't respect the people that have fought in wars or are fighting in wars now on either side. I have great respect for anybody who would lay down their life for their religion or their country. I just don't know why we still have that. The Great War was supposed to be the war to end all wars. I'm just really excited to take you along with me. But before we get to it, don't forget, if you're new here, you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Butterfly family. We would love to have you here. You are more than well. Please leave this video a like and a comment so I know and the youtube -iverse knows that you enjoyed it and it helps more people to find my channel. But as always, the best way to help me here at the channel... <laughs> my brain today I'm not feeling well can you tell oh my goodness the best way to help me here at the channel is by clicking the links down the description and the pinned comment to Ko-fi and Patreon where you can give a one-off donation just follow me there or you can pay two pound a month towards the running of the channel it helps me to have coffee out it helps me to leave the house it helps me to buy books and tarot decks to review here on the channel so everything gets just funneled back into the channel so if you enjoy my content that's something to consider links are down below but um let's see what the outfit is first so i am wearing this really cute it's a fake twin set it's just a jumper with a cardigan bit but I think it looks really nice I love the flowers on it and then I've just got held down the moment I've got this skirt on black skirt and leggings to keep my legs warm it's so important to stay warm it is November so I'm just really looking forward to getting out of the house and spending the day with you so uh, let's get going shall we So we've just had some lunch, we've met up with Andy here and we're just going to go round the gardens and everything. It's supposed to be really beautiful and really moving here so I'm so excited to share it with those of you who can't leave the house very easily. We had a lovely lunch, thank you Patreons and Kofi people, I appreciate you very much but let's get going shall we?
So this memorial is for the Women's Land Army, which is incredible, and the Timber Corps. These are the women that oftentimes moved to keep farms going and to just keep us going on this small island where we couldn't import food and there were no men to do the work anymore and I, mean, I love that we are remembering them because they were so important to, to the war so I love that so much there's memorials everywhere like every tree every little bit of rock everything is dedicated to something and I love that nobody's forgotten and it's so important I love it What I'm really grateful for is we've come today with Lee's friend Andy who is a veteran, there he is, he's a veteran so we're going to go and see the memorial for his regiment which is going to be really wonderful just to get his perspective, that'll probably be on Lee's channel but I just feel so grateful to be here and to just be able to experience this. My granddad tried to bring me here when I was little and well I wasn't little but it's changed so much in, over the years and I feel his spirit here with me today. It's just so beautiful. I've got a lot of protections on today, by the way, as a witch. I've got my Archangel my medal for my Archangel Michael. I've got some black onyx and I've got bracelets and things. So I'm full of protections. Nothing's coming home with me. I just really can feel so much life here. It's just such a beautiful place and I wish you could all experience it like the wind is blowing through the trees, it's autumn and you can just feel the veil is very thin. Um, as you know I celebrate Samhain as a whole season and to me I can just feel the change, the breeze on the air. It's so beautiful, I love it. Yeah. Okay so here we have the Agile and Sutherland Highlanders that gave me 15 very good years of my life and obviously this was the cat badge here that we, that we wore in our TOS's and Glengarry's. Um, just to explain a bit about the, the cat badge here is that each one of these thistles here around um, represents one of our battle honours. Okay, obviously you've got the, the crown up there for the royalty. Now in between here, if you'll notice, you have the two intertwining L's here. Now one of those was the Marquis of Lorne and the other one was the Princess Louise who amalgamated to become the 93rd Argyllshire Highlanders and 91st Sutherland Highlanders that became the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. So you've got the Highland Boar here and the Lowland Cat which represents each of the two regiments that amalgamated. But unfortunately uh, they uh, were disbanded many many years ago and um, they became five Scots the Royal Regiment of Scotland when they amalgamated all the seven regiments. It's quite a shame really because um, they wiped out many hundreds of years of history. Mm. Which is a damn shame really. And there you go guys, there's the first battalion the Agile Island Sutherland Highlanders. Everywhere you look here there's memorials. It's just incredible. And a lot of it, unfortunately, is kind of inaccessible because it's in amongst trees, in amongst grass. So you can't get to a lot of them, but I think there's probably a reason why they've chosen to do that. And I'm not sure if they have like audio descriptive. I'm going to have to look a bit more into it. There wasn't a lot of information on the website, if I'm going to be honest, into accessibility, but that's okay, you know. We're used to that, are we not, disabled folk? But yeah, gorgeous here, especially as it's autumn. It's just so beautiful. And here we are. Memorial walls. All these names of people who gave their life. What an incredible monument to all these people. It's such a shame. 
never ever forget the sacrifice. such a lovely time it was so just incredible just an incredible experience to go and be there really really got a lot out of it did you Lee? yeah definitely a very uh, somber day it was really really good <laughs> <sighs> husband his couch cooled so um, I've got my stitch head pillow and I'm just going to shut my eyes in the car and I'll probably finish the video when I get home. So, well that'll be in a minute for you, but for me, I'm going to have a nap. So I ended up napping. Um, I got a chill from the cold weather and ended up not feeling well at all yesterday when I got home. So I'm here, it's the next day, I've survived, I managed to have a shower this morning and I wanted to come and just do like an outro and all that kind of malarkey. But first of all, I want to show you what I got at the gift shop, very important. What did I get? So the first thing I bought were these pencils with poppies on. I got these because I've been looking for some pencils with a rubber on the end for when I go and play tabletop role play on a Thursday. As you all know, I've been getting into that. So I was really pleased to see these for sale. I also got for £6 this really beautiful decoration. Robins have always been uh, like a little message between me and my granddad when he was alive we used to talk about robins a lot they were one of his favorite birds and i absolutely love robins as well so when i saw this robins appear when loved ones are near i really wanted to get this for our christmas tree because christmas was my granddad's favorite time of the year and i really struggle at christmas now he's not around so well he's around but he's not physically with me so um i wanted to something to put on the tree for him they had a lot of christmas decorations this is a christmas decoration but i got this as an offering to diana so this was five pounds and it is a stag a stag is one of my animals that i work with and i saw this and just fell in love with it stags are really important in my practice and i have a stag who protects me and looks out for me and yeah, it's just amazing to see such a beautiful decoration. And I know this is for Christmas, but really, does it scream Christmas? No, it doesn't. So I got this to hang on my wall. I have like, I'm getting like a stag collection together. Was that everything I got for myself? I also bought a present for my mum. I got her some, like a glasses case with poppies on and some mints. That was all. That was everything. That was everything from the gift shop. It's a very nice gift shop. So if you do go to the Arboretum, definitely make sure you check out the gift shop. They have some really beautiful things there and it's just really nice. I love a gift shop. It's really nice to treat yourself after you've had a day out. And whenever I see these items, I'm going to remember it's such a special day. I really want to send a great big thank you to Andy who came with us. It was so special to have him with us as he was a serviceman. He told us about his regimen and showed us the memorial for his I was gonna say squadron <laughs> it's not squadron oh Beverly's brain work regiment that he was in that has since been disbanded so it was very special to see that and you will have seen him explaining all about the emblem that they had for their regiment brain work I'm tired today I'm sorry guys I'm so foggy but yeah I just want to send a big thank you to Andy for sharing his thoughts and feelings and taking us round. It was really special and very moving day and I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with us. We are going to go again in the future but just for us there are a few places that we want to check out because they're related to our family 
or related to ancestors so that will be really interesting to go and check out a big thank you as well to all of my beautiful patreons i want to say thank you to ravin to kirsty nouns who also did all my branding she's amazing if you need branding for your company or your youtube channel or blog or anything go and check out her website it's always linked down below i can't see i've got my glasses on let me get my glasses a big thank you to Margaret Finlay, Sarah O'Donoghue, who also is an admin on the Patreon-only Discord. So if you do join our Patreon, we do have a Discord server where you can... Well, a server's kind of like a forum, but yeah, you just make an account. It's all free. Come and join us. We would love that. So she helps out on there. She's an admin on there and very active in there. So I'm very grateful for her. And last member that joined recently is Lindsay Winstanley. A big thank Thank you to all of you for helping me be able to go out and do things. I am very, very, very appreciative and thankful. So if you enjoy my content, if you like my reviews, if you enjoy my days out vlogs, check out the links down below in the pinned comment and also in my description because that is the best way to help out on the channel. I don't get any money from YouTube. I do all of this for free. I just really enjoy sharing my life and my thoughts and my practice. So yeah, if you enjoy it too, just go and check it out. It's only £2 a month and it means a lot to me. So thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming on this little day out trip with us. We love sharing our vlogs with you. So if you enjoy them too, don't forget to leave this video a like and a comment so that I know and the youtube know that you enjoy it and they will share it out a little bit more and help more people to know my channel. And that is a big help. So thank you everyone who does that and while you're down there if you're not yet please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that little bell so you always know when I upload I'm usually here on a Friday sometimes on a Monday just depends what's going on in my life but I hope you all have a wonderful magical week and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>